these fools have any idea who are they dealing with? Well, I'm not just going to stand there and let them take everything that's mine. They have no idea what I'm capable of. Is it a customer I am expecting? No, wait, I'm not in Madame Medusa's pawn shop. Oh well, it's better to be safe than sorry. Even though even it means be safe than apologize. Congratulations! You are the winner of the Morons Olympics! You have received a certificate! This! <laughs> <laughs> that was so freaking awesome! How did you manage to wake all the dogs up? I just used my perfume to put them to sleep. Oh, it's nothing. Let's go to the park. Who are these two? Don't know. Just catching an ugly crime scenes. And speaking of that, we found ourselves a hit around crime scene. Blimey! Is he dead? Bloody not! It's poor Mr. Darling. He got run over good. But not dead. Who could do such a horrible thing? Gorilla Devil! It's got to be her! Let's nap her, boys! Don't let the ugly lady off the hook this time! You hear me? So let's go! we get to? Those Hakamari dogs need to be scared for a while. You know, when the Maori people perform the Hakka war chant dance, all of this bulgy eye and taunt flicking creeps me out. Back in New Zealand, I've seen the scariest things. Bulgy eyes and taunt flicking. Like a pack of wolves leaping right up into the trees and swooping off. That's what I was thinking. <sighs> yeah, I get what you mean. Let's just not cut out like that anymore. That reminds me of the ancient Maori movie, The Deadlands. You know, the immortal Maori warrior with the big and ancient black hair. But Jason Momoa's not like that, you know. Joking around. I just got a man crush on him. The body, the mustache and beard, the dark and handsome face. <sighs> All of that. All women like me fall in love with buff guys like that. I'm not saying those Maori guys are all gorgeous, but at least they're totally faithful. Ooh. You didn't know the half of it, darling. He wanted you, no Christians asked. <laughs> You're pathetic, you know that? Go away. It's an honor for you two to be my new hitchman. Wait, 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 wait! Are you crazy? That old lady's not supposed to be a boss yet! 
So you're just gonna do your job as she said? Ask your new boss. You're going to laugh, honor, and obey. And I wouldn't mind a fashionista like you teaching me how to sell fur coats legally and get arrested for not paying taxes. Now is not the time for jokes. We can start with a new evil plan if we like to. Suigetsu, isn't there a book for evil plans? I like to read that book. You heard her, Raggedy Ann. Are you sure she's our boss? I mean, shouldn't we be checking her level of character instead of using those cheesy character traits she's stuck with? I mean, all she cares about is fur coats. Relax, Karin. You don't need to worry about that right now. I'll handle the second level. So, you care about food or two? I thought you were interested in fur coats and fashion. That's where Fudo gets his name. It's based on an ancient Aiken version of the sacred Mayan Orchid. Oh, so many ancient practices can be found in that leaf. And people are dying every year, you know. I don't know what spell should I use. They're all so... confusing. You're right, darling. I worship the first. Who wouldn't? It's no wonder I'm so expensive. Well, you'll get used to it soon enough. Try turn to chapter 6, page 217. The heart of Dambala? I've never heard of that before. But I heard that people used the amulet to transfer their souls into another body. Did the amulet go off and do something crazy? When was this? I told you not to put that stuff in the book. Sure, that sounds good. This amulet's nothing new. But transfer your soul into another person? That's... pretty crazy. So, where the hell do we find it? I know a man named Charles Lee Ray wears it around his neck that the night the Chicago police got him down, which is buried with his corpse in Hackensack, New Jersey. So it's our mission to fly down to New Jersey and look for the amulet. But I'm not going to use it to transfer my soul into another person. I'm going to use it to possess everyone so they can work for us. For the good of the fur coats, especially those jackets, just like the ancient Mayans wore. I think we should go together. Okay, so let's go. Sure thing I got the tickets for us to the airport. <laughs> <laughs> Our father got hit and run just it like Corella's car? Yes, Miss Starling. I'm so sorry for your father. He's still alive, but badly injured. Oh, thank you, officer. If we see Corilla Devel again, we'll let you know. Yes, Miss Mary, I'll remind you. This Corilla woman is a dangerous steve who kills animals for their coats, even though it's illegal and against the law. My goodness! We were so worried about George for letting you know all this over the telephone. Just to let you know, your husband George will be okay and he'll be arriving home soon. But, the police still want to know if you need any help with anything. No, thank you, officer. We'll be okay. <gasps> Mother, look! It's Corella and her gang! The reality is, we've been imagining them! The bad guys! <gasps> it is her! Alright, man! We found Corolla, so let's go! We 
since the last time I parked my car down here. I think I remember since you parked it after a herd of dogs chasing you across the street. There it is. What if we get caught doing something illegal? We won't. No one will ever know. But what if they do find us? What then? It's my car! What's wrong with stealing your ride? Freeze! <laughs> Reluctant Phil, you are under arrest for hitting and run over a man named George Starling. You have the right to remain silent. More like you have the right to shut the hell up. <laughs> you got a plan? I'm gonna beat this guy into a bloody pulp. You two go. I'll catch up. Nice try, losers. This is the big bad world now. You don't have a chance against me. Let's go. So not how I wanted our night to end up. Well, that was fun, wasn't it? Besides, you two are my new best friends. I guess. But I still wish we could have left this place without getting caught. Don't worry, kiddo. We'll leave London first thing in the morning. Then we can search for the amulet in the New Jersey graveyard since we got the airport tickets yesterday. <laughs> Jeez. I don't know how much more of this I can take. What took you so long? I had a minor altercation with some of those stupid cops. It didn't end as planned. Whatever, just drive! The heart of Dunbala, England, huh? That's all my food for Dummy's book. Out of gas? Oh, crap. Uh, okay, okay, let's just get checked in and call a taxi. We'll figure out how to get there. How about... No. Guys... We need an RV once we get to New Jersey. Wait, seriously?
great idea. Hey, Corella! We're your new henchmen, right? So what kind of RV should we use? That depends. How many people are going on this trip with you? Just us. Deal. Wonder people in London are afraid of you, Miss Deville. Too beautiful to be an animal murderer. How old are you? I'm actually fifty years old. But thanks for the compliment, sweetie. <laughs> and it's a long story. But that doesn't matter right now. Right now, we're looking for the heart of Dumbala Amulet. Charles Lee Ray's course must be in the graveyard. Do you know the spell? Ate Dewey Dabala, give me the power I beg of you. That's a spell you should remember when a time comes to force everybody to be possessed. Or else, Dambala can take over the world. All of this transferring souls into another person freaks me out. But where is the amulet? Hello, America. Every minute it takes to drive home to America, we have lost thousands of people from the Vietnam War. And now we interrupt this program for some breaking news. In the next two hours, a documentary will air that will explain the real history behind the events of that day. The day of how Charles Lee Ray becomes Chucky the Killer Doll. In 1988, Detective Mike Norris gunned Charles Lee Ray down at the toy store in Chicago. But before he died, he has a little bit of dark voodoo magic with him to transfer his soul into a good guy doll's body. We're not so sure how that worked, but Charles Lee Ray was a man you don't want to trust. Detective Mike Norris, we thank you for a lovely chat. That's all for now, but check back for more breaking news. Coming up next, two women and one man are heading to Hackensack, New Jersey, where they will obtain the amulet's heart from Charles Lee Ray's grave and then use it to secretly transfer it into a puppet. This means they will have no reason to suspect them. That's all. Shit! They know us! They know we're going to Hackensack! Chill out, just let me think, okay? Now, we need a secret RV. So secret that no one will ever suspect us. A dark RV with bathrooms and a rear window, and a bedroom to sleep. It has to be well appointed. Well, you better think fast, darling, because the police department is after us! <laughs>
there. That'll slow these guys down. I don't know why, but I am the luckiest girl in the world. All these girls would be so jealous when they see me and said, Oh, how beautiful I look! I'm a model. <laughs> Maybe I should open a sale and perfume career. Because women like me love putting on their best perfume. I wonder who killed them. Nah, never mind. Oh, excuse me. I'm just grabbing my oven mitts. The smell of chocolate chip. Here you go! It's my best cookies. Why, thank you, Kari, darling! Thank you! Ow. You're very welcome, you guys. I learned that from Mako's Recipe Cookbook. The best cookbook in Japan. in London, I'm not allowed to sell fur coats anymore, because it kills all animals and living things. I don't know why the law is forbidding fur coats, but for some reason, the animals don't like me for a lot of reasons. Gee. Sorry to hear that, Mr. Phil. But we can help you with legally sell fur coats. With this baby? We'll open up a first store in Tokyo, even London if you want. We'll save money. Really? Oh, that's good! I've wanted to do that for a while. I just love to travel. That's so kind of you. Because I've got to get out and see a lot of people. You know, it's not fair that fur coats are always all illegal and I can't sell them right now. But if I were the law, I would change it and it would be so fabulous. You're right. I could just go and show it to my clients in my store. Even though I don't have my own store to sell swords, you know. On the other hand, this will be kinda amazing. Karin? Hmm? Should I clean the dishes for you? Or should you do it? I guess I'll do it. No, we don't need to clean. But at least Martha Stewart's magic wands that are now at the shop. And maybe I can change it. But the dishes? I need to run it by them myself. She smiles and says, no, but nothing happens. <laughs> what a lazy little sister. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! What are you doing? <laughs> Was it something that I said? No, Sui Getsu! She's the one who said crap behind my freaking back! She said that I'm lazy while Martha Stewart just won't say what Martha Stewart will! But you know what? Screw this! I'm not just gonna let Corella set crap to me! So listen there, Corella! You think that I'm lazy? Well, think again! Because 
Because you British sloppy halfwits don't appreciate me or something! You miss goody goody two shoes! Let's just forget this searching for the annual admission thing already. Let's just go back home to the ninja world and forget that all of this is coming back again. Sounds good. I'm so sorry, but didn't they even let you know? Any British sloppy halfwits like me will need a pack of trash talking buffoons that thinks I'm a grown up? Even your perfumes are such a waste of your time. It's that kind of talk. <laughs> How dare you speak in my language? Oh, I don't give a flying turd about what your language is. Your hair has been dyed red since forever. But you know what? This is the best day of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what did you just do? She turned off the auto drive button. Oh, crap. That means she's going to cross our fan because she doesn't know what she did wrong. We're going to die in an accident and it'll be all over the news. All because of the old British hack here. Holy crap! <laughs> you broke your arm. No, I don't. It's just dislocated. And my leg, too. Ow. Ow. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. We've got to get out of here. How? My leg isn't even properly connected. There's only so much that can happen to my body with only one arm. Very bad. We no longer have a ride. If there is no bus station nearby, we'll never make it to the nearest town. So... We saw a graveyard. I think the amulet might be buried near there. What? Goody! Looks like we don't have to dig that up! I'll just take care of it myself! What about Corrine? Will she be okay? I'm sure she's fine! I only had one new client this weekend! We're about to have another new one on this day! This old, old grave! It's getting colder by the minute! How can you just put someone up here if this guy's gonna start to get dark? Relax, it's just a little windy! 
Or it's just raining by the bucket fall. Or maybe it's that she's cold. I'll open the coffin, Karin. Tell me how old this is. It probably says 1988. I really don't know how Charlie transferred his soul into the doll and called himself Chucky. You mean that little midget who goes around killing people? I've never seen him around here. Be quiet! I'm trying to open it! Don't worry. It's just an old, old coffin. It's not haunted or anything. How hot can it be? It has to open! Those are the rats! What hard little white rats! I don't think I can stand that smell anymore! Eh! Oh wait, yes I can do this! The amulet must be in there somewhere! Where the bloody hell is it? You really didn't need to see that. Of course not! It's always about the rats, isn't it? I think you found the amulet we've been looking for. No, she didn't! That was old enough? She just grabbed the amulet and break the neck of the body! Oops, I did it again! Well, at least I got the necklace. <laughs> I think we've got no fuel code to drive back to the airport. What are we going to do? Let me think. <sighs> For a while, nothing happens. We got the Heart of Dambella amulet, but still... Our is broken. And guess whose fault it is? Me? No, I just got all safe. Don't worry about me. No, you just nearly got us killed in a crash! You should be so lucky we didn't end up in the garbage, you British hack. You just literally have to turn off the automatic drive button so we can get ourselves killed. That's all. Can we all just stop arguing for a sec? We got the amulet. Our mission is accomplished. Now we need to find a car that can drive us back to the airport with a suitable engine. Suitable engine? We are in the worse state than you are right now. It's just not in us. You just stay here and rot on the grass alone. He and I will hitchhike our way to the airport and rescue us. <laughs> You're crazy! You must be joking! I mean, you'd never leave me alone like that! What the hell are your dumb asses doing? What are you nuts? <laughs> 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 oh, I'm sorry. Are my friends being a bit rude? I'll explain to them right after I get to the airport. <laughs> Damn, you stupid British bastard! <laughs>